Just imagine dozens and dozens of young adults all gathered in an outdoor atmosphere singing praises to God and then hearing a life-changing testimony of how God can take someone out of the ashes and rebuild and use them. The first annual Fields of Faith event sponsored by FCA District 8 was all that and more. This week and next, Andy brings us some of the amazing stories from that event starting this week with the testimony of the main speaker. I started to develop some anger issues, some, uh, you know, just a lot of depression and worry and fear and things like that. Actually, when I was about sixth or seventh grade, um, I started to drink alcohol, uh, getting drunk, very drunk, started to smoke pot um, and do some other things as well. And it only got worse. Those problems kept Tuttle off the athletic fields much of his high school career and in and out of the juvenile detention center as he continued to spiral downward. And one night, um, I think I was 17 years old, um, I didn't have my driver's license and uh, I was at a party and I decided to drink and drive. And so um, I got pulled over by the cops and I got a DUI. And because I was on probation, they took me into JDC again. Um, I didn't know when I was gonna get out. Uh, for as the best I knew I was going to be there for you know a year however long and while I was there there was a guy who came in um, from New York and he shared his testimony about how he got saved and about how Jesus just completely and totally changed his life but there was something different something grabbed my heart and I went back into my cell and I actually I gave my life to Christ and at that point I mean I was so bound with with anger and depression and all of these things, hopelessness. And at that moment, just this peace came over me, this joy, something I had never felt in my entire life. That change, though, was halted. Tuttle got released from jail and fell back into a destructive cycle once again until God got his attention. My mom, she would ask me about every single week. She started going to church about two years before. She would ask me every single week to go to church with her and I would just cuss her. For two year, for about a year and a half, I would cuss her out, you know, tell her no, all these things. And finally, when God started to deal with my heart again, she asked me and I said, yes, I need to go. And at that point, I had given my life to Christ. And as soon as I started going back to church, uh, or going to church for the first time, really, um, God just began to do so many things in my life. 